Let's start with a look at NCB's financial performance in 2011. What have been the highlights for you? Well, 2011 has been a good year uh, for the bank uh, at the back of uh, strong uh, growth in the Saudi economy. Uh, during the year, we were able to grow our um, core assets in double digits. Uh, so, uh, for example, we grew our balance sheet total assets by 13%. Um, and uh, today we are 21% market share of the banking sector in Saudi Arabia. We were also able to uh, show good profitability during the year where we were able to grow our net income by almost 30% for the first nine months to $1.2 billion. Uh, we also have seen growth in uh, other dimensions including uh, the return on equity where we were able to improve it by three percentage points to 18.5%. Uh, at the same time, we worked on uh, strengthening our balance sheet and we were able to uh, improve our capital adequacy ratio to 18% tier 1 and also at the same time improve our loan uh, coverage uh, ratio to almost 135%. So I think during the year we took advantage of the robust economic scene and we were able to uh, achieve good results on the competitive side but as well uh, build our balance sheet and strengthen it. Looking ahead to 2012, what do you see as the economic and business challenges facing the banking sector? Well, there are two main challenges facing us in Saudi Arabia in the banking sector. The first one is the falling yield and the low interest rate environment uh, that is uh, expected to prevail. Uh, that puts a drag on profitability. Uh, the second factor is the uh, growing global uh, economic risk and uncertainties and of course the fear that if there is an event risk then there is a contagion and, and we go down into the same path as 2007. Now the good side uh, to uh, also consider is that Saudi Arabia uh, has a robust economic environment and there are uh, opportunities to grow. So for example, we look at uh, the emerging mortgage business as a growth business. Uh, we think that there is still some great opportunities in wealth management and the advisory side of the business and also the consumer finance and the corporate business has been uh, growing in a nice way. So we see also opportunities domestically to grow. How has the Gulf region performed in what's been a pretty tough year globally? Overall the performance of the Gulf has been good uh, economically uh, on the back of strong oil production levels and high oil prices and strong uh, incentives uh, by the government in stimulating the economy. The general feeling is that uh, the issues that faced the Gulf a few years back with the, um, you know, the real estate bubble in, in some Gulf countries, uh, the over leverage and some of the exposures to the large uh, corporate names is well behind us. So overall I would say that the Gulf is in a, in a good shape uh, to continue its economic growth. Overall what's the economic picture in Saudi Arabia? It's been particularly good um, if I look and compare it even within the Gulf. Uh, it's been the best story. Um, again, uh, the kingdom has enjoyed a high uh, level of income because of the high oil prices and the production and also the uh, stimulus plan that the government introduced three years ago. So uh, we think that uh, going forward, uh, as we look at 2012, we think that this uh, story will continue. There are still ample opportunities uh, for growth. What are the key performance indicators you would point to at NCB telling you about what's working in the current market? Um, we've seen uh, the corporate loans grow by almost uh, 15%. We've seen the consumer loans grow by almost 14%. Uh, we have seen growth in uh, exchange by almost 30%. And I think what this is telling us is that there is a robust uh, opportunities uh, and the private sector is well and alive. Uh, also NCB issues a, a confidence index which we do uh, every quarter and uh, the second half of the year has been uh, significantly stronger than the first half of the year. I think we started the year with some concerns about the region and what was going on. I think as the second half uh, came, uh, the business community realized that there is still ample opportunities for growth and, and they continued their activities. So how have NCB Capital and Turkey Finance contributed to the growth story? NCB Capital is the investment arm of NCB. It's the leading investment bank in Saudi Arabia. Uh, today, uh, the company controls about 30% market share in the mutual fund business. We see great opportunities in the wealth management, on the, especially on the advisory side, where we believe that we uh, can leverage 
our product capabilities and market knowledge to bring to our customers unique solutions to their investment needs. As it stands today, NCB Capital contributes about 4% of the uh, revenue of the group. Turkey also has been very good. Uh, Turkey Finance has been performing well, uh, on the back again of very strong economic uh, backdrop in, in Turkey. And um, we believe that there is uh, ample room to grow as we look forward uh, and we see that the Turkish economy still has room to grow uh, and especially the participation banking sector which we play in um, uh, it has been growing very nicely and actually has been exceeding uh, the growth of the conventional uh, sector. Finally sustainability plays a big part in NCB's business how important would you say it is to governments business and society? Well, the environments we live in today, uh, I think, uh, points out to the importance of sustainability. Uh, NCB embraced sustainability back in 2007. We started to issue our sustainability accredited report uh, since 2008. And what sustainability is, is an integrated uh, model to manage the socio-economic impact of the organization, which could be implemented by the private sector as well as the public sector and governments when in fact it focuses on creating value for all stakeholders. So it's a very balanced um, methodology to make sure that we are growing the business, we are contributing value to all the stakeholders. So uh, we have been very proud of our success in this area. We believe that um, it has uh, made us focus on the right issues, not only on delivering uh, value to the shareholders, but also to our people, to our customers, to our suppliers, to the community and to and also be a kind to the environment. Abdul Karim Abu Al Nasser, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.